Hi, I'm Terika Talbert, and welcome to today's YouTube episode of Tuesdays with Terika. Today, I'm going to be speaking with Lucas Crows of Crows Renovations. You're going to see some phenomenal work. If you need somebody to help you, stay tuned. You're going to enjoy this. episode Tuesdays with Terica. So this week we are actually going to be speaking with Lucas Crows with Crows Renovations. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> well great. I'm glad to have you here today. Thank you. So for those of you who are looking at Lucas and thinking well what is this going to be about? Okay so he works with his dad and they do renovations. Um, so don't look at him for his age, look at him for his expertise. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Lucas, so let's talk about how you became a part of the business. I know it's a family business, so your parents actually started the business when? Right, so my dad has started the business about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I kind of jumped in after school, and um, ever since then we've been going strong, mm -hmm. doing renovations, remodeling all around Greenville. So I think that is so, so wonderful. And you know, uh, earlier today I said, well, were you encouraged to be a part of the business or was it something that you had a, a natural love for? Right, so I did kind of fall into the business at first and um, I loved it as soon as I started. Um, mm -hmm. It's something I still love to this day and it's just a passion of mine and I think our clients really feel that. They I feel think passion, that is so. so, so awesome because you know, you're, you're, you're so young, younger than me. <laughs> and I think it's just so great that uh, you can be a part of something that is uh, so large and mm -hmm. that you're helping it grow. You're actually like right here on the ground floor right. helping it to be the success that it is. Right. So let me ask you this. So when you are actually um, getting people that are wanting something done, is it basically residential or do you do commercial as well? So we do um, focus a lot on residential work. Um, mm -hmm. That's not to say we don't do any commercial work. Mm -hmm. uh, we are entertaining commercial work. Mm -hmm. It's just not something we do all the time, but we like to focus on residential mainly. So It's nice to keep your options open, isn't right. it? Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're always open to, you know, commercial work. We're mm -hmm. open to any calls and, um, you know, whatever anyone has in mind, uh, that's something we can probably help them with. So, Which is really, really good. So if someone was to call you um, to just tell you that they had an idea, what is the first steps that they would need to take? Right, so it's a process. Um, mm -hmm. The first thing they do is call us, obviously, and we'll come out and do an initial consultation. Mm -hmm. um, if they want to move forward and they like us, we tend to give them an estimate two to three days later. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, it's in the customer's hands and they can do what they want. Um, they can call us back and mm -hmm. we can do a follow-up. And um, from there, uh, we'll start ordering materials and we start the job and get it done. So. so what does a consultation look like? Okay, so I'm old school, so I do scribble scrabble on paper. Right. So I can give you scribble scrabble on paper and I hand that off to you and then how do you make it come to life? Right, so our customers, um, they always have an idea in mind. Mm -hmm. When we get there, they always have something they want to do. We take their ideas and we bring it back to um, you know our 3D um, uh, program mm -hmm. that we can draw up mm -hmm. uh, for bathrooms and kitchens and stuff. And mm -hmm. um, we'll get a few uh, ideas of mm -hmm. what they want. We'll you know, bring it to life and um, we'll put it on paper and bring it back to them and see what they think about it. So, so what if there is uh, a situation where an architect is involved or what if I have a thought but I, I still don't know how to make it all come together. Can you help me with that? Yeah, right. So we have um, an in-house designer. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that, you know, we are grateful for. Mm -hmm. um, all of our designing is done right then and there. Um, as far as structural changes and stuff like that, we do have an engineer that we bring in. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, if we're taking down a low-bearing wall or something like that and we're making big changes, we, uh, we do have someone come out and verify that everything is correct and sound. So. I think that is awesome and amazing because it, it, it almost seems like you take the work off of me 
and you right. just handle it. Right. I kind of just give you my thoughts and my dreams, my hopes, and right. then I pass it on to you and you handle it from there, yeah. moving forward. Right, we like <laughs> to just bring our clients' ideas to life, you know, mm -hmm. whatever they have in mind, um, we can usually do it, so. Which is, which is wonderful. So, okay, so I talk to a lot of people, especially with me being in real estate, and they're always saying, yeah, I want to take this wall down or I want to put this wall up. Does all of that require permits or? It depends on what it is um, and how big of a change it is in the house. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, um, our structural engineer is always backing they will us let up. You and know. He'll take a trip to the job site if need mm -hmm. be and um, he'll look at it himself and we'll bring a couple options to the table and decide which way we want to go. So That is phenomenal. Yeah. So what are some of the most um, highly requested renovations that you guys usually see? So a lot of things that we're working on right now around the Greenville area is master bathrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're taking out old jacuzzi tubs and we're <laughs> making bigger showers and stuff like that. I think people are tired of the uh, tubs with the You're jets. You're bringing them to the 21st century, yes. right? <laughs> yes, we're, we're bringing bigger showers, you know. The bigger the shower, the better. So mm -hmm. we focus on showers. Um, we do kitchens as well. Mm -hmm. uh, cabinetry you know mm -hmm. uh, all our cabinets are made and locally sourced here and um, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah. I wanted to ask you know how cost effective could this really be because you know a lot of the builders are saying uh, that there are such high prices as far as the wood and not being able to get materials right so how does how does this work for you guys so for us, um, our prices, um, they've been pretty steady. Mm -hmm. um, things do change, uh, you know, with the inflation of the, inco the economy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we tend to keep our prices low and fair, and um, we're never looking to, um, you know, make an extra dollar. We're mm -hmm. just, we just want to take care of our customer and make sure that they get what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, with our cabinets and stuff, and them being locally sourced here, mm -hmm. it'd be pretty hard to find cheaper cabinets for the same quality elsewhere. Um, Wonderful. So, yeah. So what about paint? Because I've even heard some um, builders say, yeah, we couldn't get that color paint. So would your guy be able to supply paint colors yeah. or is it just one particular color? Or? Uh, no, so we can get um, a variety of colors. We can go okay. um, you know, all over the color spectrum. <laughs> we can go anywhere they want. Uh, if they want paint cabinets, we can do paint cabinets. So mm -hmm. we never say no. Um, we always have an answer yeah, as far as what we can do. If we can't do something, then we'll come up with a, another route and we'll make sure the customer's Look, that's, happy. That's what most women want is options. <laughs> yeah, we've got to have options. Uh, you know, you can't just, can't say no. You, there's always got to be an answer, so. That is so amazing. Yeah. Okay, so what areas do you guys serve? Are you, um, are you open to different areas? Or are you pretty much uh, want to stay here in the Greenville area? So, you know, we are open to different areas. We travel a little bit outside of Greenville, um, mm -hmm. depending on the job. Most of the time we're staying um, right around the Greenville area though. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of work up in Simpsonville uh, and Malden. Mm -hmm. um, we've done some work in Lawrence, Fountain Inn, so mm -hmm. all over the place. Um, we're mobile, we're going everywhere. You know? which, is, which is also fantastic as well, especially for um, a local realtor because again, we meet so many people and you know, I always encourage my buyers not to buy anything that they have to destroy and rebuild but it's always nice to be able to have someone that can help them kind of tweak what right. they're wanting to make it that perfect home right so if there was a house that was um, in distress mm -hmm. how much of a renovation would you be willing to do like if it needed to be gutted or just move a wall here and there right so um Every situation is different. We have come into houses where uh, it's pretty beat up and it needs a ton of work and um, we're also willing to do that. We'll take on bigger projects. Um, we'll go from doing just a small bathroom to gutting an entire house. So mm -hmm. it's all in between. And um, as far as a full gut renovation and a, you know, a bigger job, mm -hmm. you can expect anywhere between you know, four to five weeks, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be flooring and all the walls and the ceilings. Mm -hmm. cabinets, the kitchen, so it could be everything, or it could be just a small job and we could be in and out. So so you have the staff to be able to do whatever is necessary, right. yes. which, is, which is really good because one of the things that um, I think may concern a lot of people is that they really wouldn't want to commit to a long term. Uh, most people tend to want something to where 
it can be done rather quickly or they have a time frame that is realistic. Mm -hmm. Do you find that, um, that they really kind of want to stick with the time frame that you guys are able to give? Yeah, so before we start any job, uh, we do talk about a time frame mm -hmm. and um, we usually hit it right on the head. We're mm -hmm. usually right there um, in the time that we said we'd be done. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we always are willing to come back to our clients' houses and if they have any problems, we'll do a follow-up. So mm -hmm. we don't just leave them hanging once we finish the job. We keep in contact with them and we want them to be you know, comfortable and know that we're gonna come back and take care of them if they need anything, so. I think that is good. That yeah. is so, so good. So not only do you guys have an opportunity to have uh, your houses or uh, your properties um, renovate it, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to have someone that is going to give you a price point, that is going to help you with the design, that is going to keep you on track and on target, and that's going to be affordable for the time that we are in. So okay, Lucas, tell us how can our viewers find you guys? How, right. how can they reach you? So we do um, advertise on social media. We're all over Facebook and Instagram. Our Facebook name is Crows Renovations and then our Instagram name would be Crows underscore renovations. So you can find us there and um, we show all our work on there. We do a lot of before and after pictures uh, so you can see the entire project and mm -hmm. see the process of it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we take any calls. Uh, <laughs> we're open to any ideas, anything that anyone has. So, Which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we are not wanting you to go anywhere else but to Crows. This is our plea to you. But in the event that they wanted to maybe comparison shop, what makes you guys stand out above the rest? Right, so what we like to tell people is, you know, we are um, a family business um, and we stick to the Greenville area. So we're not, you know, trying to take care of people all over the place. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we do one job and move on to the next and we take care of that customer from there on. So. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we like to build relationships with our clients. Mm -hmm. um, we go, you know, they're like family to us. You know, mm -hmm. we're in their house for a couple weeks at a time. It's, <laughs> you better make a good relationship with someone if you're going to be in their house for that long. So it becomes personal. It right? does become personal. <laughs> so yeah, we're always there to take care of our customers after the fact. So, and we appreciate you for doing that. Yeah. Okay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. We have some special footage for you. We want you to be able to see. Uh, what Crow's Renovations has to offer. If at any point you are looking to have a conversation, we ask that you would contact Lucas. He's already given you his contact information and we will supply a link for you below. And you can also call me as well, 864-270-8111. But as always, we would want you to like, share, subscribe, uh, let us know how we're doing and please, 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 Give these guys a call. Enjoy your week. Thanks.